This is the Writer's Circle of Durham Region panel discussion on getting published in the new millennium. We're going to talk now about writers being in step with the industry and yet one step ahead of tomorrow's technology. It's a very tough race to run for writers being au courant and also having a sense of themselves and knowing what they're doing is right. This is a kind of a philosophical discussion mm -hmm. about who we are as writers and whether we feel we know enough about our world and are comfortable in that world not to have to change to accommodate it. That's sort of what we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Who wants to start? <laughs> I think, uh, that's a good question because um, when I, 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 I really got back into writing after a 25 year absence about five or six years ago and I, and I thought how am I going to become a writer? I uh, get back into reading poetry and writing poetry and I started to go into Toronto and go to the poetry readings and, and hang out and do that kind of thing. Now I used to do a lot of uh, performance uh, in my job, a lot of uh, you know, emceeing of events and things. So I started to, uh, I, I started to host uh, poetry readings. And then I, I decided I'd like to do it the way I'd like to do it. And, I, and I, so I started my own show. And I was really intrigued by the, the, the fact that poetry had split into a spoken word component, uh, like a slam spoken word component, and a page component. And that this, this separation was becoming wider and wider every month. Until now, they don't even talk to each other anymore. <laughs> and yet, the influence of both is still really important. Mm -hmm. So in my show, I have both of them in there. And, I'm, uh, and then, I started this, then I decided, well, I, I really like some of these poets, and they can't get published, so I'm going to publish them, because I was publishing chapbooks for people. All this is, a, is actually answering your question, because <laughs> what I'm doing is I, I realize when you answer the questions, I'm, doing, I'm into so many different kinds of different areas of the publishing and the performance business right now. And, and, that, and all of it is designed to find new writers and new ways of presenting new writers and new material that other people aren't really looking at yet. And uh, that's part of what I think my game is and the thing that really gives me a thrill is finding writers that are, are, are kind of at the beginning, who are really good and who, who aren't getting the attention they should be getting. And if I wasn't out in the street doing this, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be finding them. Is that, is that kind of... Uh, approach to writers working for the work you're doing, Don, given that he's sort of creating a stage for writers with mm -hmm. a unique mm -hmm. uh, niche mm -hmm. marketing, which is yes. what you're all about. Correct. Right? Yes. Um, is that something, is the, is the world of writing evolving into you know, the best what universe for you? It, it is. I've, I've taken two approaches simultaneously. Mm -hmm. I've, um, as a self-published author, what I've done is I've set up a very formal channel I've hired a literary PR company and they are doing all of the things that a publisher would do on the back end. So the social media is done, they're looking at speaking engagements, all of that's being taken care of very professionally. Um, seven years ago I started public speaking so I have an audience there. So just by being in the community and traveling all over Ontario, which I started doing four months ago, I've, I've been established as a speaker, so now I'm adding in the book and I'm adding in the workshop. Yeah, I think you do have to use the mm -hmm. technology. I want to go national and North America wide. Um, my book is not just for the Ontario market, so you have to engage the technology mm -hmm. and sort of you know, make the borders invisible. You have to be seamless. Sure. Mm -hmm. And so you, you know, whether you like it or not, you have to get out there, be visible on the internet, wh whatever medium you like, Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter. Um, for me, it's been a combination of all three, mm -hmm. and I've now started writing articles, and uh, that's another way to get, get established. But being a public presence is not for everybody. It's yeah. okay for you yeah. two. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure, Ruth, that you're, that you're comfortable <laughs> with that. I mean, let's assume mm -hmm. that sure. you got the, the, the book published. Mm -hmm. Sure. How comfortable are you with, about being the juggler in front of the audience, getting folks to come in and buy it? Oh, I, I do that. Um, in, a, in a variety of contexts now, but um, and I'm quite comfortable with that. Um, and, and I think if you're passionate about something, why would you not want to celebrate it? You know, and celebrate it with others. Um, so uh, that just makes that just makes common sense in in my head that that I would be out there promoting it. Um, I have seen with uh, with some publishers. There's a couple of publishers out there um, uh, that are uh, posting on their website book trailers 
and they're really kind of cool, you know? There's music and there's stuff going on in the background and, and uh, it's usually uh, quite emotive and emotional kind of music and, and different scenes that are being shown. I think that's a very cool thing and I, and I think that's, that's valuable to a certain extent. Promotion and publicity and all the rest of it, it's still my passion for my words, my words my way on my page. You know, and if if they're not good words, if, if 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 the passion that I have doesn't come through somehow in the writing, doesn't matter about book trailers, doesn't matter about Twitter, doesn't matter about anything, because you all know there's the 15-minute, you know, Andy Warhol moment of fame. People who are famous for just being famous, you know. But really, what sticks, what stays, and that's what I want. I want to read mm -hmm. things that stick. And I want to write things that stick and stay with people. Um, I, I want to bring it back to the social media thing for a minute. Sure. Um, because when you mentioned that before, I was thinking that, that there is that push to be involved and to be on Twitter and blogging mm -hmm. and all that. Um, but it, it works. I, I was thinking about who I follow on Twitter. <laughs> And some of the writers that, you know, I, I admire their work, but I'm also interested in who they are. Neil Gaiman is very, very active on the web. I love his writing. I think he's brilliant. But um, he's also probably, I guess he's sort of leading the way. He, he's got a very active blog that's interesting to a lot of people on, on different topics. He's very active on Twitter. He's, he's writing things that let people have that window into his life. But I, I sort of see that as separate from his books. Um, but but he can cover both he, comfortably. He can do both, yeah. yeah. Do you he feel comfortable being asked to do things that you're not used to? <laughs> not particularly. <laughs> but um, you do it great. I, I, you do. I have a blog. I, I'm on Twitter. Um, I, I like you're the networking adapting. aspect of it. I, yes. I like the learning. But yeah, mm -hmm. it, and I, I think it's hard for introverts, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can, I can relate to that. But I, I do think there is a need. And again, you know, trends are changing. People want to know. Who are you? Not mm -hmm. just, I've, mm -hmm. I've read your work. Who is the person behind the work? And we're getting mm -hmm. more personal and personal and seamless mm -hmm. and boundarylessness, if that's a word. But the point is, that's how yeah. this world is moving. There are no borders. You know, I, mm -hmm. uh, someone just connected to me after 31 years on Facebook. I got this, hi, can you be my friend? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they would have found me had it not been for Facebook. Yeah. So we're becoming very personal. And the writing should be independent of that public persona, but it isn't yes. always. But people want to know the person behind the writing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to be engaged. Yes. And that's what we've been today on this interesting panel. I thank you very much, panelists, for all you've contributed today. It's been great fun. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Ted. That's Thanks. the Writer's Circle of Durham Region panel on surviving and thriving in the new millennium as writers. Yes. Yeah.